so everybody knows you know sports rivalries go pretty hard between states between cities and um, we all accept it you know most of the time it's for fun I've never really seen it get too serious well I guess you go to one of those you know games and you see two guys fight or something because they're butthurt that their team's losing or something but um I didn't really realize people take some of that to heart and um, specifically what I'm talking about is college football at that and um, my introduction to that was when I was uh, 18 years old fresh out of basic training and that's when I first um, experienced how how far or not really how far somebody would go but you know how much people take that to heart so uh, pretty much I was uh, two weeks out of or sorry two days out of basic training most people get their orders to where they're going like hey you're gonna be at Fort Bliss or you're gonna be at Fort Drum you know it's the orders telling them where they're gonna go after basic training uh, most people get those two weeks out roughly I was two days out from graduation and I didn't know where I was going, I still didn't receive my orders. And a lot of the guys were telling me, and I started believing them, they're like, oh, that means you failed, man. That means they're, they're gonna keep you here and you have to do basic training all over again. I'm like, I'm like nah, I was like, oh, you, you guys might as well send me home at that point. I like, I'm not, uh, not failing for, for a dumb reason when I know I, I should have passed. But, um, so, I get the drill sergeant coming up to me, and, uh, he yells my name, he's like, Perez! I run over there, I'm like, I'm like, what's going on, drill sergeant? He's like, I got good news, and I got bad news. Which you want to hear first? I'm like, I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, how do I want to not ruin my day today? I said, like, of course, chew on the bad shit first. So I tell him, tell me the, the bad news, drill sergeant. It's like, well, the bad news is, you're still an ugly motherfucker. I'm like, shit, if that's the bad news, oh man, this this good news either. He's lying to me and he's about he's about to trick me and my day's about to go to shit or, or this is awesome, you know, I can't wait to hear the good news now. So he's like, the good news is, it's like, you're going to Korea. And he shakes my hand and he's like, congratulations, kid. And I'm just, I didn't know how to take that. Like, I, I guess he, he noticed I wasn't as excited as as, uh, as he thought I would be. And I was, really, I was confused because I don't know shit about Korea. I didn't know anything, you know. And I just know, I'm like, well, I'm going out of the country. I'm like, I don't, I don't know the climate. I don't know anything about the people. I don't know anything. But, um, so, I'm... You know, you get there, you do your two weeks in processing, roughly, and get shipped out to your company. And um, I'm a fresh private, so this is before I had, uh, you know, I got comfortable enough to be like, whenever somebody tells you, you something or somebody acts stupid with you, where I'm just, I get back into my old mode and I'm like, right, I'm gonna catch you off base, motherfucker, and I'm gonna split your head open, and we're gonna see if you're still talking the same. Um, this be before I got comfortable. So, so this was, um, you know, fresh out of basic training. Anything you tell me, you could tell me the most disrespectful thing. And I'm just going to sit there and laugh at it. You know, I'm just like, I can, you know, you could take anything. You're just like, it doesn't bother you. You're like, this is part of my job. You know, my job is to be pretty much hazed, you know, and, uh, you know, builds character. Not, it's, it, it's there to make sure that you're not a, you know, a sissy when it comes down to going down range, you know, going to Afghanistan or Iraq and you're getting shot at, you're not going to hurt your feelings and, you know, curl up in a ball or something, you know, so pretty much uh, later on in the night, once I get to my company, um, I get my team leader comes in and uh, he's talking to me and then he's like, where are you from? Michigan 
and then you know, the dude's like, he's from Detroit. He's, he, you know, just like start saying a bunch of stuff. It was um, somebody who I had already talked to. And he's like, and then that's when I see the dirty look on this, the guy who was talking to me as my new team leader, my first team leader ever, you know, and he just gave me a dirty look. I'm just like, what the fuck's that about? But okay. And he's like, you know, I don't like you, right? I look at him like, what? He's like, you know, no, no, I, I, I don't like you, right? I'm like, I don't like you either, man. And he's like, no, 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 you don't understand. I really don't like you. I'm from Ohio. And then, like, like as if he's waiting for me to say something. Like, like, so I'm like, what does he want me to say? Like, okay, you're from Ohio, and you know. And then I'm just thinking in the back of my head, this is like, this guy's a blowjob and a half. I don't know what his problem is. And, uh, you know, so he's just, like, giving me a hard time like that. And then, you know, he leaves. And then um, uh, another guy who was from Detroit, he was like, he comes up to me. He's like, he's like oh, um, who's your, your team leader? And then I told him who it was. And I was like, I think that's my team leader. I don't know. The guy had, had a problem because I'm from Michigan. And he's like, oh, you know, you know. You, you know why, man? And I was like, no, I don't know why. He's like, yeah, you do. I'm like, no, I don't. He's like, just think. And I was like, I can't, give, I can't give you a reason, man. And he tells me, uh, football. He's like, you know, I, you know, I don't remember if it's Michigan versus Ohio that has the problem or Michigan State versus Ohio. I don't know because I've never really paid attention to college football like that. Um, I you know, but he explains it to me how you know, they got a big rivalry going on. And I'm just thinking out the back of my head. I'm like, wait, he don't like me over some college football. So damn, somebody needs a hobby, man. Like, like I'm I'm when I got beef with somebody, it's over some something real, you know. We 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 got issues. I'd never like beef with somebody because of where you're from, you know, unless you get you know, like, oh, you're from a, a certain state and and you know, know a person in college who goes to this this college or you went to this college like, come on man that's a goofy ass shit but um you know so, so i was like i was real dumbfounded by that i never understood that and uh i, I you know I, I i see the rivalry stuff but this guy legit he he was such a blowjob he really didn't like me because he was from ohio and uh you know like i've 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 seen it all since then you know i've gone down ohio and you know i've got I've got a lot of friends down there man but i've also gone down there and like you know somebody see michigan plates or you know you know i sit up here rocking all my d shit and you know motherfuckers got some issues you know and i've had to bang out a few times you know like oh well you know but <laughs> like oh well, you you got something to say well what's up you know but just to know that that's where it's stemming from you guys, you guys hating over some some football, and I'm sure it's vice versa. You know, I'm sure some douchebags over over here, you know, are same thing. Oh, you're from Ohio, I don't like it. You know, like come on, man. But sports, sports, man. It's not even a fighting sport. Are you guys fighting over people who don't care about you? Like, come on, you. you <laughs> that was that was my introduction to you know college football rivalry. Man, I'm telling you, that I, I would have understood it maybe a little more if it was some pro football, you know, um, but but it was college, you know, and, and I used to have a really bad attitude towards college football. So my attitude was, if you're not pro, why would I waste my time watching you? I don't, I don't really have that mentality anymore, you know. People explained it. Like, hey, that's where all the good games are. You know, these people are trying out for, you know, for the pros. They're trying to be pro, so they're going to play harder than when they do when they're actually pro. Which makes total sense. So, yeah, so, you know, I watch a few games. I'm like, oh, shit, they, these, these guys could actually throw down in here. They're actually playing good. You know, it actually was better than that pro game I watched the other day. But, you know, there's too many too many sports out there to be you know i don't got the time of day to sit there and and watch all the pro all the college of every sport like 
uh, I'll sit there, I watch, watch me a boxing match here and there, a UFC match here and there, and I'm good. And then I'll go and I'll Google it because the lines break my heart every year. So I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll just Google their score and I'll tell everybody, we're going to win this year, we're going to win the Super Bowl. And everybody laughs and then I just, I just, I'll just Google like Lions game or Lions schedule. And, you know, I can't watch it. <laughs> can't watch it. I hear we're doing good this year, but, you know, but, you know don't, don't let anybody lie to you. I'm the only person that ever said we're going to the Super Bowl every year. So when we do, you know, who said it first? But, you know, I, I really I haven't really watched, you know, those type of sports since. And it's, you know, I, I got into it a while. Um, I can't give you the year, but as far as football, but... As far as basketball, shit, the last time I watched the Pistons was when we had the big five. You know, we had Phillips, we had Rasheed Wallace, we had Ben Wallace, we had Tayshon, and we had Hamilton. Unstoppable five. You know, and, and then they were like, oh, no, this Detroit City, y'all can't have a good team. Let's start trading this and breaking up this duel. You know, but um, that was really the last time I've, I really watched sports, like, dedicated as far as those type of sports, so so I guess maybe that's why I didn't understand this whole oh you're from this you know you're from this or that you know uh, I don't know there's some goofy stuff so um, I guess that's that's what people people do when you don't <laughs> when uh, I guess when other people playing sports is your life I guess you get really really uh really furious when, when somebody's from a different team and they think they, you know, they're uh, co college gangbanging out there or something, you know, you know, like, oh, what set you from, Vato? You know, like, it's, it's, it's pretty goofy, especially to have somebody not really like you. Like, I've met people.